Philadelphia, Canada. We actually started out the season this year down in North Carolina in about mid-April. We're going to finish up also down in the Carolinas come mid-October. And we'll have better than 350 events nationwide as well as in the country, Canada, under our belt here in the National Factor Pulling Association. Also on board this year, 26 years, Alan, and I'll tell you what, that's a long time. The involvement of Kenamore Oil, the Ford introduction of Kenamore Oil, the GT1, is the racer's choice in the competition out here today. Two years ago, 97% distance. In other words, a full pro here tonight on the grandstand side will be 310 feet. In other words, the next four competitors you see in our regional national qualifier, two-wheel drive competition, they have, in effect, pulled completely, and they're going to be in a full pull situation. We're going to start the super off, all right, out of middle South Dakota, who left that hard home for the first two-wheel drive, 293.3, 293.3. The days of sweat, Mark Homer, the weapon, will drop six positions and come back in a few minutes. So he will drop six positions on the reset sweat. And ladies and gentlemen, I don't care what you think. Yes, that may be important. That is also your new leader, 39.06 in the two-wheel drive division, Ed Christensen. Nice run. Absolutely straight down the track. Front end floated about two inches, kept it there, walked it right straight. Straight shot down the track. Couldn't ask for a better shot. All right, over on the super stock side, the new test puller on the reset sled. That's down to 30, international 766 out of Kent, Kentucky, of Leroy Mason. 360 cubic inches of international block. Three charger alcohol burning super stock out of the state of Kentucky, making right around 1,500 horsepower. Leroy been pulling for 15 years now. Single fella. He's a truck dispatcher by trade, but poor heart. Got started in garden tractors, and look at him today. The super sock tractors are down and dirty. Get Kentucky's Leroy Mason. Charger setup making upwards of 2,400 horsepower. 
tough running machine. Actually, this is about his fourth or fifth year now of campaigning in the Super Stock Division. I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, if you get a chance to get out in this pit area, look at this particular Super Stock tracker. Find him out in the pits. Look at the side shields. A very beautiful paint job on the Green Line Fever in 1995. Rolling bar!
He picked that sideline and he stayed right with it. Right down along that. Got the fun end up. 
John Deere 4250. Stock block, free charger, alcohol burning super stock for George Ever. Ever salvage yard sponsoring this machine. This is the first time that I have seen George this season here in the competition. Up front of the machine, out of the Hoosier State of Indiana. George Ever coming up next. But George runs very early, very early, when uh, we were down in, the, in, uh, in Florida. Before I saw George run down. George working real hard the last time that I saw him in competition. The alcohol burning super stock, George Ever, the 4250 here. Oh, the Redman! 
machines on Atlantic Isle with the workhorse for the snow ride on Cherry Blackboard. Now, final three here for first place in the 7,500-pound Superstock class over on that hillside track. Waiting on the green light and the green flag as the track will clear down here in just a few short minutes. And Dave Hager is ready to go. Lanes are now clear on the Superstock side. Dave Hager, old Ironside, going to be put to the test here in a few minutes to decide a winner. The bottom line in this sport, the sled will win the competition. But we will have a winner here in just a second.
tonight, there will be a champion crowned in Bonafide Mini right here at Fort Recovery Ambassador Park. Currently in fourth place. But anything can happen. A win here from down to the top three, four, five places could put somebody right up on top of the Bonafide Mini and give them first place for 1995. This is the last hook for 1995 for the Minis. The back attack of Bob Lanzini.
Four minutes in the pillow. Denny Horst again, sixth place. Bob Lanzini down the track there after a drop, finishing in seventh. Larry Kester again, eighth place. Jackie Carr out of Weldon, Illinois, finishing in ninth with a distance of 277 and one. Todd Wolfman in tenth place at 208.75. Top four to still be decided in a mini rod competitor, and we still could have that. Number one place decided yet here tonight. Hey, we got any Ford fans out here? Yeah, the red light up there. All right, coming up next, the Ford out of Boston, Wisconsin, Dan Walsh, the Irish Challenger. 1995 Ford F-150, 575 cubic inch road area towing this modified two-wheel drive. The Walsh's out of Wisconsin. One reason on Grand Battle with Dave Hager. Kind of a hit. 
pickup right there. Well, he kind of had a little
orders to go, and we have twice the lineup. Mike Piper will be first up and on the line in our unlimited class tonight. Down the track tonight. He'd like to do a little better if he 
possibly good. We'll see what happens. Right here and out on Eaton, Ohio. All built machine. Y'all, the Bowtie Chaos. Engine RPM. 
Green flags now on both ends of the track. Get your cameras ready.
Wayne Rouse out of Dublin, Ohio. Professor by trade, but Ford Hart actually, he's retired professor now. With the green light, Dave Hager is ready. Rack officials are now ready with the green flag. The key bucket, Wayne Rouse out of Dublin, Ohio. Trying to get it out the door. 300 foot full pole is what it's going to take for the first place prize money and the first place points tonight.
Turn playing now. Good. 
ready to go. He's ready to destroy that group with three out the gate right now. The in-laws and outlaws bullet team. Jim Blackman lines up very carefully. Let's Thank you. 
in the Irish Sea. Gonna need a tow vehicle. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give him a big round of applause. He had it going. Top running machine out of 834. 109.34. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's put them together. Your winner tonight, the Super and Randy Brown. Now, here's Jerry Blackwood. Out on New Haven, Indiana, he knows what he has to do. Rodwood Knox sitting in first place, two, nine, seven, and nine. That distance is going on the scoreboard. Two, nine, seven, and nine. Jim Blackwood. Last competitor down the track tonight. Please. 